a guy who's helping us to organize everything and he said but how can you get back do you have a, a, with all this investment all this art that you put on the side I, I said what are you talking about yeah this is my life this is my this is this is Joseph Boys is my biggest inspiration behind my cuisine you know is defense of nature la defesa della natura hi I'm Massimo Bottura, I'm having my espresso, and welcome to GQ Middle East. Osteria Francescana and everything around, like Torno or, you know, uh, Osteria Gucci, Maria Luigia, um, Franceschetta, is a big family. We grew up in the kitchen, every one of us, most of us under the table, and we learn how to look at the world in a different perspective. If you are an Italian chef and you had a grandmother that since you are a kid, is, she's explaining to you that you don't have to waste, obsess about the quality of the ingredients, the mom that is teaching you about the quality of the ideas. You know, you grew up in a very, um, with a very open mind that embraced everything. Some breadcrumbs, some ripe fruit, or like, you know, bruised zucchini, you know, are just perfect. And uh, in all our preparation, think about that in Osteria Francescana, we are like, 80 people working there for 28 covers. So think about how much waste could be, could we have, you know, just to cut the perfect tender uh, meat uh, or like the, the lobster that comes from Sardinian Island. So all the rest, what I'm gonna do with all the rest? How can I feed the, those 80 guys this approach is a very creative approach because, uh, you know, we give uh, the, the, the kitchen prep is the most important, the art of the restaurant. And we give the opportunity to all the stagiaires, all the, ki the, the, the chefs that comes from all over the world to cook for the staff meal. And we call Refettorio Francescano. If I didn't have Osteria Francescana managed like that, I couldn't Im not even imagine and uh, create that project at the Universal Exposition in Milan that became one of the leader, one of the key point of the Universal Exposition, Feed the Planet. Then you read, then culture. Culture, knowledge, consciousness, sense of responsibility. Without culture, you could never, you know, understand that every day you learn and you learn and you learn and you evolve and you get deep into knowledge here, there, everywhere. And then from knowledge to, to consciousness is growing up, you know, because uh, you learn it and you realize growing up and understand that what you have done and how you have done it. Uh, what you achieve and how you have achieved. So from, uh, from consciousness to the sense of responsibility, the step is very short. And uh, when you have good idea, the people are ready to listen to you. And uh, this is uh, why an idea from uh, an Italian chef in a small ones, a small restaurant in Modena became a global movement in three years. You know, because we both are two very deep Italian restaurants. One is very abstract, very avant-garde. We are exploring new, po new possibility. We ask ourselves questions all the time and we give answers, especially this crazy question. And uh, Torno is the evolution of this. It's like Torno is like, I'm back. Back to the roots. Back when Italy was like, the, the you know, was so, explosive in everything, in cars, design, you know, way of style of life, identity. Torno 
is I'm back there at that time when Fellini was there, when Marcello was there, he's everywhere, no? And I want to live this kind of amazing time with jo the joy of the colors, but filtered by a contemporary mind. It's very, very contemporary. This restaurant is very contemporary. And you can see, you can touch, you know, all the best of uh, the Italian artisan, the Italian things, you know. In another way, uh, Osteria is uh, a place where we explore. We, we sue every day the past and the future. We look at the past in a very critical way and get just the best from the past into the future. And we build new tradition. So this is the, the way to approach. The ingredients are the same. We are obsessed about the quality. We were thinking about breaking the border between sweet and savory. And uh, I was tasting this amazing chocolate, uh, you know, uh, ganache that uh, they were preparing in the kitchen and, uh, and uh, mixed with uh, those crunchy hazelnuts from Piemonte. So we came out this idea of doing like half the pizza as a dessert. So we made the pasta of the pizza, uh, toasted in the oven with uh, um, honey and then uh, finish outside with uh, chocolate, hazelnut, and crunchy hazelnut on the top. So it's like, it's our brain, our idea, our landscape of ideas are always open uh, to new skyscraper, new beautiful building, beautiful idea. We build our food like that, you know. What uh, uh, my, my choice to be here is because uh, they really want me here. And the idea of being in the W is something that I really like because um, they are playful, you know. We want this. We want to have fun. They want to have fun. They want the people that come from all over the world, have it, they, have, they want to have fun. You know, like when, uh, when I met, uh, you know, Alessandro and Marco at Gucci, we want to have fun. They create their own word and they match perfectly with my ideas, you know. And this is the same, you know. I'm here, they let me do whatever I want with these kind of things. They're all so happy and excited. And, uh, you know, I, I just, we are just uh, ready to host uh, all the guests from uh, all over the world in this place and uh, in special menus that reminds you to the past, but like in a very contemporary way. So as this chair, you know, or this table or are made, or this, uh, this plate that Richard Ginori made for us with uh, the color that are picked by Alessandro. So it's like, it's are unique. Even the food that we are serving is unique. Because, uh, you know, we want, to make people feel comfortable. We don't want to come here with a fine dining, be snobby and say, oh, we come from Italy and the best restaurant in the world. You know, doesn't make any sense, you know. It's, one is enough and is there in Modena. Here, I want to have fun. I want to, to say the word that I love the most, that I always say even at the refectorio. Welcome. You are welcome. Come in, have fun, and enjoy. People, when they come to Modena, they say, and when they say to me, they start a conversation, oh, chef, oh, that uh, bird was so good. No, 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 listen, listen, listen. I say, I stop. This whole experience is not about one dish. It's about since you make a reservation, and you have, uh, you know, you interact with Ricardo at the reservation that is such a nice guy, you know, and he's helping you to arrive, to set up everything, you know. You arrive and you have a welcome from uh, my front room and this old menu is built like an opera, is written like an opera. You have the overture and then the adagio then you have the allegro, then the minuetto, 
Then you have the grand finale. You know, exactly like an opera. You know, I'm from Modena, no? the land of Pavarotti, Mirella Freni, five theaters in a very small town, because we, we grew up like that. So it's like building this kind of experience is extremely important. So you prefer the grand finale, but there's someone who loves the adagio, or someone that is getting excited with the minuetto and the emotional dishes that get into your heart. So each one has a different experience, but all of us can step back and see the menu as a big script for, you know, for a, a, the best experience. Art in general is our motivational force, is, uh, is our landscape of ideas. When, when you walk out of Francescana, you are in a very narrow street in, um, between uh, Via delle Rose, Via Stella, Rua Freda, and you don't even see the big uh, tower of the cathedral, like the Romanic cathedral. And uh, so we had to imagine this inspiration. Um, and that's why I always say, this is just a metaphor now to say that, you know, I have an exercise with, um, with my guys. It's called, Who Are You? And uh, I teach them how to express themselves uh, in uh, you uh, through uh, uh, you know edible bites. How to think? How to you know get deep into their interest? Because one day these interests they became passion, and through passion you can transfer emotions. So for me, uh, art, music are part of my life. The first thing I, I turn off in the night and turn on in the morning is music. Most of the time I forget and I, I sleep with music on my side because it's part of my life as art. You know, we are building now a, a, a place outside like 10 minutes from Osteria Francescana in which we will have like 12 rooms, uh, two apartments in which we can host very privately our guests that comes from all over the world. And uh, it's full of art. And uh, there's a, a guy who's helping us to organize everything. And he said, but how can you get back? Do you have uh, uh, with all this investment, all this art that you put on the side? I, I said, what are you talking about? Yeah, this is my life. This is my, this is, this is Joseph Boyce. He's my biggest inspiration behind my cuisine. You know, his defense of nature, la defesa della natura. You know, it's like, this is part of my life. This is, I want a guest, I want all my guests experience who I am, me and Lara, and, uh, you know, they're gonna come in my home and, uh, and share with uh, everyone the experience of going in uh, my vinyl room and uh, pick one of the 7,000 uh, vinyl that I put there and, uh, you know, enjoy, the, enjoy the, the experience, you know? Like, listen to the first copy, first issue of the jazz uh, uh, boppers uh, of the uh, 60s or 50 and 60s, you know? This kind of stuff are, you don't have, you can't have a price for this because these are not for sale. I'm giving with you. I'm, I want them to experience going at the top floor, get some balsamic vinegar from my production, private, family, and taste with the best Parmigiano. So this is the experience. This is, we don't, have, we don't know what it means, food cost. For us, it's like just another word because we want to transfer emotions. Emotions are here, are here in your, comes from your heart.